Yeah, I want to go over something with uh, Spooky 2. I, I, I kind of suspected what the answer was, but, um, well, first, um, you know, this is without using the boost cable. You're actually using both cables, and um, you have out one and out two, both cables, and you're only using the red wire, and out one is actually going to be the positive, and out two is going to be the negative. So I have this the little uh, probe hooked up there. And, um, you know, lo and behold, um, I got this set where it's showing, here's the center line right here, that's the center line, and that's 5 volts down, 5 volts up. So, I'm running, um, I'm running uh, right here, if you can see that, um, let me, let me stop it for a minute because you can see better, um, you can see better the settings right here I have on here uh, 5 volts 5 volts and down here we have the follow one uh, add one to F2 down here and hopefully that's coming through in the camera add one to F, F1 to F2 that's why you're, so it works like this you're not using a boost cable you're using two cables so norm, normally if you're using 5 volts you're doing 2.5 volts up 2.5 volts down so you're actually getting double the power because using both channels but it's going positive negative so you have it on inverse sync and um, you can see it right down here that's inverse sync that's checked off and you have F1 added to uh, add F1 to F2 now the question is how do you get 100% positive offset and I was just well I, I was checking this with a voltmeter on um, a tenth of a hertz and whoops get this over here to uh, out to um yeah the mouse is disconnected I'm using a little uh, uh, touchpad anyway so what you do is um, you put it on 100% positive offset for out one minus 100% positive output out uh, uh, positive negative output you put minus out um, because it's inverse sync negative um, output negative output is actually going to be positive because it's inverse sync now when you click this on you can see what's going on to verify with oscilloscope and start and here you have the baseline it's going to zero and it's going up you know I have it set on uh, five volts so each one of these is five volts so it's going up 10 volts now I just set this on 50 Hertz so you know I'm not do not doing anything special here but just to show you that that is actually how you do it. You would actually, since you're using inverse sync on out two, you put minus 100, and you get double. You get double the power. So uh, because you're using both channels. In other words, if this was just one channel, it would be up. It, it would be a five volt difference swing, but it's a 10 volt uh, swing because you're using five volts on each output that makes sense anyway I'm gonna add the 11th harmonic and uh, see what happens uh, for waves uh, with positive offset hopefully this comes out clear it's uh, I'm gonna add it put 11 here that's the uh, uh, 11th harmonic and you can see this I'm just gonna keep it nice simple I'm not gonna change anything else I'm not gonna use dampened sine wave or nothing or dampened uh, square wave but just to show you, and now I change this back to uh, just regular, um, you know, no offset at all, zero and zero, because I want to show this first, and then we're going to go back and we're going to change the change the offset. So, let's hit start, loading waveforms. And, you know, here it is. So, Here's the baseline. Well, it looks like it hits. Um, hmm. Well, that's how it works. It goes up five volts, and it's also hitting. Oh, you know what it is? It's in between. That's what it is. It's going up five volts, down to zero, up to five volts, down to zero. Blah 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 blah. And then it's going down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, just like that. It's that's the harmonic. It's doing the harmonic. So. That's what's going on. See, each one of these, 
you know, all these, this center line is actually in between these peaks, and it's in between these valleys. So that's with no offset, okay? Now, um, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to stop this, and we're going to go into uh, the menu and change it just the way I had it before. Um, 100% and... minus 100% on the second one because it's inverse sync. Since the, it's doing inverse sync on the second one, um, the minus is actually going to be positive. So again, start. Start it up. Now this is interesting. It's not actually going, um, it's going up 5 volts, down to 0, up 5 volts. It's never going, it's not going from um, up to 10 volts and down to 0. It's going up from 10 volts to 5, 10 to 5, 10 to 5. Then it goes down to 0, it goes up to 5. It's all positive offset, but that's how it's working. Let me see if there's another way we could set this because uh, it's it you know I would think you'd want it to go from ten to zero, ten to zero, ten to zero. It's going from ten to five, ten to five, ten to five, ten to five. It's never going into negative. Um, it's never going. Into, it's not going down below the zero line, but it's it's not doing ten volt swings. Let me see if we could change something up here. Well, I guess, uh, like, if you put this without any offset, the, the center line is the zero volts line, and it's going down to five, minus five volts, up to zero, minus five volts, up to zero, blah, 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 then up to positive volts, down to zero, and, and, such, and so forth. And then, if we try to do the positive offset, it doesn't actually it, uh, go all the way down to uh, zero all the time that's a thing and you know I'm beginning I'm beginning to think that maybe you want to run a harmonic of the frequency versus add do it you know if you want to do positive offset and um, in other words well I'll show you what the wave looks like since then I'll explain myself better so what happens is it goes up to 10 volts, down to 5, up to 10, down to 5, up to 10, down to 5, blah, so forth. Then it's down to, down to 0, up to 5, down to 0, down to 5. It doesn't go from 10, 10 volts down to 0 like that. That's how it works. That's how it works. So... You know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about this deal with the positive offset, you know, maybe there's another way to set this, or maybe you just want to use 11 times the frequency that you intend to use, and use it that way, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. doesn't work exactly the way I expected it to. So, I'm going to try a couple other things and see what happens. I'm going to try, we'll try changing um, out to, to um, zero. I don't know what the hell I, I think that's going to bring bring it negative sometimes, which is not what we want to do. Start. Yeah, actually, it just brought the whole thing down. And that's what it did. Like this is your this is your base, your zero line. It just brought it down a little bit. The whole thing it just brought it down a little bit. Hmm. So. Let's say stop, and let's um, let's skip. Let's put um, you know. Let's change this to like a three. No, let's let's not do that. Let's just let's just do um, change it back to one, and um, well, that's just how it works. I mean, I guess if you want to run. 
the 11th harmonic with positive offset, it's not going to go back to zero the way it should be, zero volts. It's always going to be up a little bit. It's not going to go, you know, positive volts down to zero positive volts like 11 times within that wave. It's going to go positive volts to half positive that volts 11 times in that wave, then go up half positive volts and down to zero the next time. It's not exactly what I wanted to do, but that's how it works. So, you know, it might be better to just multiply the frequency by 11 or something if that's a better uh, multiple of that frequency. I'm not sure. Or not apply the apar uh, harmonics because when you apply just, um, you know, you're just doing it with like no harmonics, you just do follow. Um, Add F1, F2, no harmonics, just positive offset. That might be the way to do it. Don't do the harmonics. I don't know. I don't know. See, now you're looking at it. You're getting 10 volts up, down to zero. 10 volts up, down to zero. So you're putting, you've got double the capacity. So, anyway, you know, what I was hoping when you did this it would go up to 10 volts down to zero, 10 volts down to zero, 10 volts down to zero like that but it, it doesn't, it doesn't it doesn't so anyway that's interesting so uh, you know if you're running positive offset maybe you don't want to use the harmonics I'm not sure about this deal so anyway uh, open for discussion but um, that's just how it is, and I'm glad I got this scope because it's too hard to tell what's going on with just a plain old voltmeter. You know, I have an I I knew it wasn't going negative, but I didn't realize it was going it was staying halfway up. Like in other words, here I'll show it again. Like if we go to uh, let me use the uh, fifth harmonic to make it more clear. Let me see, you click that, so it'll look like that. Anyway, um, let's see what it looks like. Yeah. So here's your here's your zero line down here. So it goes from zero to five, zero to five, zero, then back to zero, then it hits ten, then it goes to five. Yeah, I would think it would you'd want it to go all the way up. Like that. I don't know. Anyway, um, you know, I guess if you want to use the eleventh harmonic or some other harmonic of a frequency, you're probably just not. You're probably just mul better off multiplying the, that number times the frequency and then setting it in there and running a custom frequency, and that's it. But that's that's what it's doing. That's what it's doing. It's going back to zero <laughs> every once in a while. You know, that's what's kind of doing. But um, anyway, I don't know. You know, like I said, you know, a lot of this stuff is very experimental, so we shall see. We shall see, but at least the information is now, it's here, right here on the scope. So, anyway, maybe that's helpful, maybe it's clear as mud. I don't know, I don't know, but I'm uh, learning myself.